greetings. I was just going to beam in to do a Facebook Live today to share with you a mythic dream that I had about more than 10 years ago now that changed my life. And unfortunately, for some reason, even though I have been completely silent on the political landscape recently, not commenting, not lending my voice to these matters, staying focused on love, sovereignty, transmuting fear, following our hearts, believing in ourselves as my main theme on Facebook, I have been blocked from doing a Facebook Live to prevent the misuse of this platform. So if spreading high frequencies of unconditional love, empowered presence, encouraging and reflecting back everyone's sovereign essence light is a misuse of this platform. I don't, I don't know what they expect the platform to be used for. I can't think of a higher purpose, but anyway, enough on that. I'm here anyway, infiltrating the matrix with high frequency love and only love. In fact, that is my vow. It is such a commitment, a devotion that I ended up even tattooing that on my arm. I don't know if you can see it. It's a white tattoo that says love only love here disappearing into the sun so i am going to tell you a mythic dream it's much like a dream within a dream within a dream a story that spanned millennia that i was gifted in my very first round of the divine feminine mystery school training that i entered into over 10 years ago this dream came to me after an event where we went into deep breath work for over an hour, hol holotropic breath work. It's highly oxygenating the body, purifying the body through breath. And then I was given this beautiful smoky quartz crystal that, and told this is a dreaming stone to put it near bed. So that night after the breath work with the dreaming stone near my bed, I entered into a dream that felt like watching some kind of mythic mini series saga adventure. And I'm gonna do my best to quintessentialize it because I don't feel like it was just my psyche working something out. I feel like this was a collective myth, a piece for all of us that I was gifted with to bring through my channel. In my dream, I'm an artist, I'm a woodworker and a priestess and I live in harmony with the others in a beautiful temple. And when we create, we actually do not cut into the wood. We use our vision and we use our hands and we use sound. And we work together very prayerfully in harmony. One day, a giant oak, a giant tree is wheeled into the main hall of the temple and it is laid down before us. We are grateful that this, this oak has fallen naturally from lightning and it is ancient, maybe thousands of years old and giant. And we gather around it and we sing the prayers. We light our hands of light. We lift our hearts. We give thanks to all the elements, to mother, to all of creation. And we begin to vision into the oak and to sound and to sing. And the oak begins to shift and transform and become first many different shapes of goddesses, bodies flowing in the grains of the wood. And then by and by the entire large tree transforms into a giant goddess sculpture that we stand upright in the central entry hall of the temple. She's beautiful, glowing, radiant, and we feel gifted by her presence and we call her mother, Ama, and we sing to her, Ama, Ama, and we lay pots of honey and flowers and crystals at her feet, and all is sweet, all is good. For a long time, it feels like there is a blessing and a benevolence that fills our days in harmony with one another. We work, we play, we sing, we are living in harmony with nature, with all the elements. And life is a flow of beauty. Then, I don't know if it's 
years or how many years pass, they come, they come. And in the dream, it's very unclear who they are. They feel like dark soldiers of destruction with weapons, with an energy that is using fire in a very, very different way than just the way we have come to love and use fire. They use fire to destroy. And when, when they come, they come with this wave of fear. This fear washes over the land and into the temple. And one night we're awoken by fire. And I run into the inner hall, the grand hall, and the statue of Amma is lying flat. And she's burnt and we roll her over many of us and her eyes are gouged out and burnt and her breasts are gouged off and burnt and her yoni is burnt. All that makes her beautiful and a goddess is marred and destroyed. And in my dream, I put my hands on her and I begin to tremble and shake and cry into her. And as I promise to restore her, something starts to happen and it feels like an earthquake but really as she's shaking i'm shaking and the next thing i realize i'm merging with her merging into the wood and then rising up out of the wood as her and i know myself to be ama dora ama dora she who loves and as I rise up out of her, I come out of the wood completely and start to fly over the land outside the temple. And I sing and I sound and I cry and I love the land and I love all the beings and all the creatures. I fly all around where there's been destruction, where there's been war, where there's been damage. And I love it back into harmony by and by through song, through sound, through tears of rain, through my presence, things restore. And I rest amongst the trees in union with them back into the wood to restore myself until they come again, these dark soldiers to create more weapons of war, cutting down the trees, the animals flee, the fire comes, they use the trees to form battering rams and their forges for weapons. And there's nowhere for me to hide safely to replenish in the trees. So I dive down into the lake and I bury myself in the mud, in the water, deep in the base of the lake to restore, to recharge so that I can come back and serve the land and bring harmony again. And this cycle repeats where I come out and I see there's more damage, more pockets of destruction, more fear, more unrest, more famine, more barren desert every time. And I dive into the deepest lock, down, down, down into the deep mountain lake to restore myself after one of these very, very long sessions of restoration and healing the land. And when I emerge from that lock, it is this time. It is here now in this future time, this modern time, where not only are there strange weapons of war, frequency, weapons and tiny teeny weapons that you can't even see there is a numbness and a deadness and an apathy and a darkness and a fear and a dissonance covering the land and as i fly and i sing and i cry tears of mercy for this earth for this world I recognize that it would take so, so, so long for me to do this great work of restoration and healing and that the people are entrained into a distraction where they no longer sing and they no longer pray, they no longer dance, they no longer give offerings to the, the earth elements and nature. They have forgotten the old ways completely. There are only tiny pockets of radiance in etheric in that way 
that resonate into the David kingdom to help where earth will help restore itself. And in this ache, this heart ache, I, I, there's no lake deep enough left for me to great, gain the strength to do this work. There is too much destruction, too much numbness, deadness, d dissonance in this world. I decide to try to dive down into the depths of the ocean, deeper than any lake, to find the deep crevasse under the sea, to get closer and closer to the heart of mother, deep down into the mana. And as I bury myself in the depths of the ocean, I recognize there is not enough mana. The oceans are acidic and full of waste plastic and this frequency these frequencies are underwater too that are life diminishing and i lay in the very very depths of the ocean the bottom the very bottom of the ocean and as i begin to dissolve i renounce this world i renounce this world completely in the depths of the ocean and then something miraculous happens. Something incredible happens. And I'm gonna leave you right here with this part of the story, this part of the dream, beloveds. I'm leaving you here with me as we renounce this material world completely in love, in compassion, in grief. Something miraculous happens. And I'll be back to tell you part two of this dream very, very soon. So I look forward to having you with me for part two, for this is a collective dream and we are dreaming awake together. Never give up, trust the center of your sacred heart, trust the inner sun. I love you, love you so much. Bye for now.